Hi and welcome back to my channel. Today I'm creating a collage page in my 6x6 watercolor journal and I'm using the papers I prepared a while ago and I will link up this video at the end of the video so you can check them out. I decided to um, try to use all of them up so you can see what I'm doing with all those papers I made. Here I'm gluing down all the papers using gel medium um, because I am not sure what I want to do on top and then the background is safe so I can go on top if I want with any media. I'm just grabbing the papers as they come on the stack I, am, I have laying here and I just tear the pieces up. From time to time I use this catalyst tool to remove the excess of the gel so the papers get smoothed out and I don't get any wrinkles. If I have small leftover scraps, I just throw them away. I am not a hoarder of um, scrap papers because it doesn't make sense, I think. If you have more and more of these tiny little pieces, you will never have the time to use them up and they will just slow down the process as um, I have too many choices then. I'm now going through the bigger papers and here I have a printed, jelly printed tissue paper. Um, but I think I will grab the jelly printed jelly paper. This is pretty um, thin and a little bit transparent. And I just tear out the rainbow and then I would stick it on top of the other papers. And what I like about the jelly paper is that the others will shine through and this gives me a lot of depth. If you're using this kind of thin paper it will usually start crinkling with the gel because of the wetness and what I do against it is I go over with that catalyst tool. Here you can see what's happening and then usually it works out pretty good and you will get a really smooth um, image. I now search for some pieces for the leftover rest of the white paint. I'm using a piece of paper with the same colors. It's also from the deli paper so it looks cohesive because the rainbow image is a bit standing out and this makes it look more uh, more come together.
When I start the J-Page, I just grab the papers I get and then I don't mind about the colors that much. But later in the process, when I have the background almost done, I don't want to um, ruin it by adhering a wrong piece of paper. So it took me a bit longer to decide what I want to glue down in the last free area. Finally, I'm grabbing one of the handmade jelly printed stickers to fill that little gap on the top. And I also use the gel medium over the sticker to make sure it adheres properly. I let everything dry completely. I'm always a bit careful with drying it with the heat tool because an, a collage can quickly blow up if you heat it too much. So usually I let this dry overnight or over the whole day. As I said in my video where I created the collage papers, it's a very good method to create quickly with these papers. I don't have to do much because they are already stamped, they have a beautiful color collection, there is not much to do. What I'm doing here is I make some marks over the whole page to bring these paper pieces together and therefore I'm using the Posca paint pens. What I also do is I make some splatters over the whole page and then it's time to search for a main image. And if you have watched the video with the collage papers, you know that I have already prepared them some um, collage snacks, I would say. So pieces that are ready to go on top of any kind of mixed media piece. I'm drying the splatters a little bit so I can lay pieces on top to check out if I like it. The images I have prepared are from different stamp sets. Um, this one is from the pencil marks number 3 and I have also a branch from the pencil marks number 2 and some of the inky flowers and also some of the inky friends insects. And now I just lay the pieces I think would fit nice on top of my page and have a view through my camera to check out if I like it. Looking through the camera gives you a total different view compared to looking directly onto the page. So I recommend it if you um, are not sure what to pick. That's what I'm going for. I'm pretty sure there were many other combinations that would have looked nice. Um, I'm adhering the pieces with a wet glue because it's easier than using a glue stick. And that's my page for today. I hope you enjoyed this video. Don't forget to check out the collage paper video and then we will see us next week. Have a wonderful weekend. Bye!